Uh, we'll start with the broadcast section, which has got no embargo, followed by an embargoed section for 10.30 p.m. tonight. Uh, no live tweeting during the broadcast section, please. And Jamie, do you want to start us off? Juma is available, as I say, we, we can use to tomorrow in the game. We have only one problem with Dahri, because he played the last game uh, uh, full of illness, and he didn't train uh, during the, the week. He trained this morning, but he wants to, to come with us and be available, so uh, we know very well that Harry uh, wants to play every game, and so we are happy that Harry is involved in the game. Uh, but the only situation we have to take care of is, uh, is this. You want to play all the time, though, Harry? Absolutely. Okay. <laughs> um, Monday night <coughs> felt like a bit of a turning point, and after the game, both Harry and Antonio spoke about a meeting where everyone sat down and, and cleared the air or whatever. Can you tell us what happened in that meeting? No, and that meeting happened, uh, what you said, is a point of start, is a point of restart. That game was a tough game. We played a great match. We, we, were, uh, we were playing with the a, with a perfect approach, uh, and this is a point of change of the mentality. We spoke a lot about, about it, and we have to do it. We have to change the mentality from the start and the end until the end of the game. Every game has to do the same. And we sp Antonio had a great speech uh, about this. In terms of Antonio himself, I think people forget sometimes that football managers and footballers are human beings as well. And it's been a really difficult year for Antonio, losing three close friends, his wife and his daughter still back in Turin. On Monday night, his reaction to the away fans suggested a manager that's still very happy here and very committed to the club. Have you seen a change in Antonio this week? Does he seem more determined? But uh, it's very difficult to feel that Antonio is not determined. It's very difficult. But uh, <coughs> the way he celebrates, uh, uh, maybe he can uh, let understand, in my opinion, that he feel uh, uh, he feel um, love around him. This is really important. This is really important that uh, the fan uh, are with us, are with the team, are with the player, are with the club, and Antonio with Antonio as well. But uh, I think his reaction came from the uh, what he expect from the game. He wants to see that the player fight with him and with the, everyone. And uh, I think the, his celebration was uh, about this. And uh, it's fine to, to feel uh, that feeling for him. Just in terms of tomorrow's game itself, Spurs fans, as you know, are desperate for a trophy. It's been a long time at this club. The FA Cup has almost become the most important thing for Spurs fans this season because it's the best chance of winning a trophy. Is that something that you and Antonio and the squad are aware of, that this is almost, for some fans, the biggest game of the season? No, uh, many times, many times when I was here, we speak about trophy, cup, to win. I don't want to push and to uh, create pressure on this. We have to change the mentality and the last game was a, a good uh, uh, start point to change this. And with the change of the mentality, you don't have to talk about the win trophy. You have to do it. It's the fact, not uh, the, uh, the words you say. It's the fact. So I don't want to push uh, and to give pressure on a trophy or one another. And there is no one trophy easier than another. It's difficult to work on the mentality. We try to do it, and we want uh, to be a team that can win a trophy. Just one final question for me. You've spoken a couple of times now about changing the mentality. What, what was the old mentality? Or what, what had the squad maybe slipped into? Was it this complacency? What, what was wrong with the mentality before? The approach of the game. 
we consider too many goals and we have to uh, spend energy to recover in a match. We know very well this is a fact, this is a stats. So we have to approach the game in the right way. We have uh, uh, three phases in a game, offensive, defensive and transition. And we have to be uh, well prepared in every situation and set pieces as well. So uh, this is the mentality. Thanks, Jamie. Alex? Hi, um, you spoke about the starting point at Fulham on uh, Monday night. So coming to this game against Preston, does it make it harder to make changes if you want to keep that momentum going? No, we, we think that uh, every game we, we prepare, every game uh, we, we are going to play, we keep up the best team uh, to try to win. So we can do a change. We are here from uh, uh, enough time to have players ready to play one game and cha some changes, not, nothing happened with some changes. The only player we can realize that uh, maybe is not ready like the other is Arnaud because uh, he's a new player. Uh, we are happy, but we need to give him time to understand everything. Jack? Um, Antonio was very honest with us on Monday about how the team was so good defensively last season and then the level has dropped a lot defensively this season. What's your analysis for what's changed? Uh, the, the analysis uh, is there is no only the defensive line that work for the defensive situation. is a team that defend, is a team that uh, attack. But uh, uh, maybe if we compare this season, we have many more individual uh, mistakes. And, uh, and I repeat, we need to, to be good in the approach of the game. What can you and Antonio and the other staff do to improve the level and improve the confidence in the second half of the season? Do at the best of our job. Yes. Nick? Um, if you had someone who wanted to play against Preston but you didn't want them to play because they played other games, would, would you and Antonio say for an FA Cup game, you know, rest? Don't, don't play in this match because we need you for the Premier League? Until the last minute, we don't say uh, to any player, you don't play, you rest. We prepare the game last, um, and leave the player think they can play this game. And then, uh, in the end, Antonio make a decision and some player can, be, can, be, can have uh, some rest. So, uh, for sure, we have some change, but we, are, we have uh, many players ready to play this type of game. Saturday game on Wednesday because of the pressures of the Premier League recently is playing the FA Cup a bit of a break for, for the team and for the, the coaching staff without all of the attention <coughs> no there's no break there's no break no it's an important game it's an important trophy and we want to honour this trophy this cup and this competition so there is no break I think finally Ali please Obviously, he worked very briefly with Arnold Danjuma now. What, what have you seen and what are his strengths? That have been? He has experience because he played a good Champions League last season. He play, uh, He's a player that can play like a striker, like a, a winger. He has a lot of position he can cover. So we are happy and we... We are looking for to work with him. We want to discover is uh, is normal in January during the season. Uh, you need time to give him uh, all the information to play in our team, and so we are we are happy and uh, we want to work. We are looking forward to work with him. Which of those positions do you think will be his main or his best one in Antonio's team? It, dep it depends uh, of the system we use. In the system normally we use uh, could be a number 10 uh, or a striker. And this is the way we want to work with him. We, we said many times we need uh, 
a player to change. This season we we have lost uh, Lucas for a long time, and we need a player to add in our rotation. And it's fine to have uh, to have him. You have worked with quite a lot with this season, obviously. He's pursued that. Why do you think he hasn't quite hit the form that he had last season? Yeah, but because uh, it's different, the club uh, where he play is different. Uh, expectation you have uh, on every game, and Bisuma. When you change uh, the club, uh, you need to understand quickly the moment. And sometimes when you play every game and you start to be <coughs> a player that uh, give a rotation to the to your team, uh, is not easy for the for Bisuma, for, but for all the players. And you have to understand uh, what is your uh, position in a team and what the team need from you. And uh, not in every club uh, is the same. And maybe this uh, needed time, but at the moment we are happy with him. He's a player that we can use uh, every game. So. Said a couple of weeks back when I spoke to you last time that Brian Hill, you didn't think he was going to leave uh, on loan. Is that still the case with Dan Juma coming in? Uh, it's not uh, a question that I can answer because uh, I'm not involved uh, in uh, in this type of decision. Uh, my opinion is the same uh, of uh, three weeks ago, so nothing changed for me. Okay, we'll end the broadcast section there.